Hi guys, Marcus here. Welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 30th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 366. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Xiao Chan begins filming Jade Bone Ballad. And Vin Zhang responds to his marriage rumors with some humor. But first, here's what's recently premiered. No Boundary is a costume fantasy drama starring Darren Chen and Zhang Yishang, and it premiered earlier today. Set in the Song Dynasty, the drama follows a goddess played by Zhang Yishang, who descends to the mortal world and works with a constable played by Darren Chen to fight evil forces. Along the way, they fall in love. Darren Chan had a pretty good 2020 drama-wise. He was in My Unicorn Girl and The Sleuth of the Ming Dynasty. Zhang Yishang has only had supporting roles in her drama career up until now. This is her first starring role. No Boundary is slated for 32 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. Hello Mr. Gu is a modern romance drama starring Chen Jingke and Yan Zhichao and it premiered earlier today as well. It follows the contract marriage between a CEO with anaclophobia, the fear of crowds, and a broke heiress who has a completely different personality from him. Somehow though, they become soulmates. Another modern romance drama for your consideration. There is always an abundance of them. Hello Mr. Gu is slated for 30 episodes and is available on WeTV with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here's a drama that's recently confirmed its March premiere. Good Every Day is an upcoming modern romance drama starring Tong Liya and Sean Zhang, and they've confirmed a March 31st premiere. That's tomorrow. Tong Liya plays a career-focused woman who is seen by those around her as a leftover woman. Sean Zhang plays a model whose career is stagnating. The two meet and sparks fly to the point where wedding bells might be on the horizon. So leftover woman or shengnu is a not so nice term used to describe women who remain unmarried until their late 20s or beyond. It is an antiquated concept in my opinion. This day and age, women choose to focus on career or whatever it is they choose to focus on until whenever they want to. Good Every Day is slated for 40 episodes and will premiere across all Chinese platforms. I'll update again on the English subs situation. And moving on, here is a super highly anticipated drama that's recently started filming. Jade Bone Ballad is an upcoming costume fantasy drama starring Xiao Zhan and Ren Ming, and they started filming yesterday. Here are some of the cast and crew at the booting ceremony. Here's Xiao Chan, duly following health and safety measures. They also started their official Weibo page yesterday and have already released an art poster and two character posters. It looks like they will be quite forthcoming with updates, which is good news for fans who want to keep up. Jade Bone Ballad is adapted from the novel Mirror Zhu Yan, written by Chang Yue, who also wrote Mirror Twin Cities. Mirror Twin Cities has already been adapted into a drama starring Li Yifeng and Yuki Chen. That's another highly anticipated drama and it's wrapped filming for several months already. In Jade Bone Ballad, Xiao Zhan plays Prince Shi Ying of the Kongsang Kingdom. He has a master-disciple relationship with Ren Ming's character, Princess Zhu Yan, although it eventually develops into a romance. Their love, however, is a forbidden one, not only because of their master-disciple relationship, but also because they stand on opposite sides of a political struggle. So the novel focused more on Ren Ming's character, Zhu Yan, but reportedly changes were made to the drama script so that it focused more on Xiao Chan's character, Shi Yi. Xiao Chan reacted to the drama announcement by posting on Weibo, I am Shi Ying, the priest. Ren Ming reacted to the drama announcement by posting, Princess Zhu Yan reporting for duty. So another Xiao Chan costume drama on the horizon, that's music to his fans' ears for sure. And as always, whenever I talk about Xiao Chan, the question will get asked, when will the Oath of Love premiere? At the moment, there's still no official word, but in the past four months, we've seen two of Xiao Chan's dramas premiere, The Wolf and Dolua Continent, so perhaps the Oath of Love is not far away. 
Renming has been in two dramas before this, both in a supporting role capacity. Jade Bone Ballad will be her first starring role. More updates on the drama as they provide them. And before we get to some celebrity news, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12 month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus Sim. And now some celebrity news beginning with Vin Zhang. Vin Zhang responds to rumors that he's married to his manager with a joke. Recently, there's been a rumor floating around social media. That rumor has it that a popular web drama male lead got secretly married to his manager but did not want to expose it because he wanted to safeguard his career. Netizens started to speculate that this male lead might be Vin Zhang. Well, Vin responded on social media by sharing a joke. Someone with nothing to do is swimming in the sea and drinks some seawater. Seawater is salty, and in Mandarin, salty is a homonym for free, as in free time. So my interpretation of the joke is that someone has too much free time and is just, you know, spreading rumors. Another interpretation is that someone is just straight up salty and spreading rumors. Not sure which one it actually is. But in any case, Vin shouldn't be too worried about any of this. He's having a terrific spell on the drama front at the moment. He's the male lead in Rattan, which is doing well on web drama viewing charts, and in Stormi, which is doing well on TV viewing charts. And when you're doing well, people will talk. It's the same everywhere. Next up is Andrew Yin. Andrew Yin slaps a phone out of an overzealous fan's hand. Well, it was either a fan or a paparazzi reporter. It wasn't made entirely clear. But for those of you who don't know, Andrew Yin starred in last year's excellent Republican era drama, Winter Begonia with Huang Xiaoming. Andrew delivered a widely praised performance as a passionate Peking opera performer. If you guys haven't seen Winter Begonia and are into Republican era dramas, I highly recommend it. A few days ago, a video surfaced online that shows him walking through a crowd of people taking pictures, when suddenly, a phone gets shoved right into his personal space and he slaps the phone away. So here he is coming with the mask and tan jacket, and boom! It all happened very fast, and what came just as fast were the comments and criticism directed against him after the video was shared on social media. Andrew Yin Studio released a statement to, among other things, explain what happened in the video, and to persuade people to talk about it rationally and not take things out of context. His studio did not apologize, and I'm glad they didn't. Taking pictures of celebrities in a public space is totally acceptable, but rudely shoving a phone in someone's face like that, not so much. For the phone shover's sake, I hope he had a solid phone case and screen protector or better still, insurance. And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so it's time for another segment of Where's Marcus At? So the title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. So I'm following four dramas at the moment. I'm on episode 28 of Storm Eye with Yang Mi and Vin Zhang. To be honest, I've started using the skip button a little bit. I feel like some of the scenes are just kind of redundant. But the drama has also reached a point where some of the scenes are quite substantial, so I stick around for those. I'm watching the drama on YouTube, where it's available with English subs. I'm on episode 19 of Word of Honor with Zhang Zhehe and Simon Gong. The finale has already come out, so I know I'm quite far behind. I'm watching the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs, and they only release like 3 episodes a week or something like that. Maybe when I'm done one of the other dramas, I'll start binging this one a bit more. I'm on episode 34 of The Sword and the Brocade with Wallace Chung and Seven Tan. 
I've also started skipping some parts in this. I'm quite ready to know how the main plot ends, but it seems for now they're sidetracking to some other subplots before they finally reveal the main conclusion. I'm watching the drama on WeTV where it's available with English subs. And finally, I'm on episode 7 of Rattan with Jing Tian and Vin Zhang. I'm very behind on this one. In fact, I don't think I watched an episode since last Monday's segment. But as soon as I'm done one of the other dramas, I'll start catching up. I'm watching the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? And it also brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt, and let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps and shoutouts. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!